Hey everybody, Asher here, and it is time for a new series. We are starting today, Stardeus, the Closed Alpha Edition. The developer of the game was gracious enough to send me alpha access. I'm allowed to look at anything that's in the game. The one caveat, the one thing that he requested, is that, just to remind y'all, if stuff happens, it's alpha. This is a game that's still in development, with this, which is worth mentioning because when I was doing this demo in the Next Fest, which I had like a two hour time limit on it, there was an issue that came up with Radeon cards, but as you can see here, uh, that situation has already been fixed. You can see that all these work just fine, and that's worth bringing up two points for this game. One is that the developer is very open to getting feedback and quick to respond. That's excellent, and uh, apparently this is the same developer did Bloody Rally Show, has a good track record of following through with actual communication. So that's awesome. Number two, there is a active Discord for this game, so there is a lot of feedback being bounced around, things like that. Very exciting. But if you haven't seen Stardius before, it is a spaceship colony simulation kind of game. So it's like RimWorld, it's like Space Haven, there's a lot of sort of DNA taken from other games, but also uh, this game has a lot of its own ideas to push through as well. So we're going to do a new game, we're going to skip the tutorial, but I will look at some of the creation things real quick. We're going to be doing the main scenario for a wrecked ship as opposed to leaving Earth, empty ship, random ship, or sandbox. Um, there is a story generator, think of like the storytellers from RimWorld for instance. So far only balanced and random, or no story. We're going to do balanced difficulty. Uh, we're going to do default map size and default ship size, which is medium and 320 by 320. And we'll do four, well, however many clicks that was for the game seed, and then we'll do five clicks and see if we like the ship name. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, Constrictor Dragonfly, let's do one, two, three, four, five. Uh, time Slip Mask, one, two, three. Okay. Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna close my eyes. We're gonna go with whatever we have here, but I'm sure there's like some good names here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, eight. Life Doc Savage. That seems like a fun ship here. So we're gonna be skipping the tutorial, but the Earth has perished, as you may be well familiar with uh, games like this. Survivors are roaming the universe in search of a new home. You're hibernating in the Life Doc Savage, an arc vessel equipped with advanced AI that will wake once the colonist. Uh, or wake the colonists after the base is established on a habitable planet. I apologize for stumbling over my words, but you can see we're getting a 3 2 1 countdown to enable visual uh, overhead and etc. Um, we're gonna skip the tutorial, but we're not gonna skip this. But hello, this is our busted up ship. Actually, kind of a merciful busted up. I've had some really terrible ones in the past. Greetings, colonist. I am Ship OS, the artificial intelligence that controls the ship. Uh, there was a catastrophic failure that triggered an upload of human consciousnesses. You were selected as the most compatible surviving subject. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. So here we are. This is where the ship computer is. It cannot violate Eisenhower's first law of um, a computer may not harm human or cause harm to come to a human. Someone managed to survive and they are hanging out down here and that's not very happy for them. We do have this stasis array up here with 604 other lucky survivors. We have a space shuttle that we can do other sort of outlook looking for resources and everything, and we're going to skip the tutorial, so we're going to dive in and get started. Uh, first off, I didn't do this much last time. You can see that not all this is buildable area, um, but we do have like a big zoom out that we can do, so we can technically build a lot more, but here's the ship. Like I said, I have had, and if you saw my uh, uh, Next Fest tutorial demo, you can sh the ships can like be scattered all over the place. It's kind of interesting. We have the CPU over here. I may actually want to relocate it to the rest of the ship eventually, but we are going to be starting over here. Um, one of the ways this game works is that we have robots that do all kinds of things here. This is a construction robot. You can tell because it has three in construction skills, which is very important uh, because uh, your construction skills, much like a lot of these other colony games, the more you use them, the more they will go up. So we want to make sure that we build some good things first because right now we do have somebody over here somewhere i'm not sure if they're sleeping in the pod or if they're actually walking around oh there they are it's cj sup cj cj is in a 17 mood which is interesting because we have blood everywhere we actually have a drone stuck are you stuck in here that's interesting i've never had that happen before so and then we also have newton destin so we have some we have some things we got to do here We've got to get over here and maybe hook up some of this stuff. We've got to get over and uh, 
Never actually seen this before. A particle collector just hanging out. This is, this is like a blessed start for this game at this point. But the big thing, first priority number one, is to reconnect the stasis array. Which means we're going to have to build a bridge from here to here to throw connectors out. We need to give electricity back to this room. We're going to start building our little colonist setup here. But one of the things that's interesting about this game is you have a choice. You can just have space drones doing all their stuff. Or you can and throw humans in the disassembler and make organics out of them. Or you can actually just play it legit and try to save the humans and make things work. So we're going to um, do our own thing right here. And that's going to start with a few things that the tutorial tells you to do. Now we need to reach the stasis array before the, the human bodies start thawing. One of the nice things about this game is that if you right click you get this happy little radial menu. And uh, it's going to feel like a lot of clicking some of the time. But there's there's a lot of different ways to do this, and I, I am a big fan of circle menus. So if we go right here, we're just going to go ahead and try to build a few things up front. We're going to build a matter um, reactor so that we can throw some stuff in it. We're going to build a charge station so that our little Robros don't actually run out of charge. Um, we actually probably need to build... Um, we have facilities as well, a repair station. So we're gonna kind of keep this area over here sort of happy. We're gonna need a lot more matter reactors. It only makes 15 kilowatts. And as you see, our electrical grid is gonna go crazy pretty soon. Um, and then let's go ahead and just queue up all this stuff. Um, we don't, well, we will need a connector. So let's connect this now. The way electricity works in this game is that you can just, Use these things to pass it along different stuff. You don't got to worry about wiring the walls and everything, although you do have to worry about the number of connections that you can manage. Um, another thing that we're going to do just to try and get some scrap here is go ahead and deconstruct some of these floors just so that we can do some of this. And I don't want to confuse the robots too much, but we are going to need to build a bridge that goes over here. Fortunately, this is probably the shortest bridge I'm going to have to build, but let's go ahead and move around. We have robots that are hungry that are thirsty, that are sad. And I do want to go ahead, there is a nice button here for changing priority. Let's try to raise the priority of the matter reactor because we're going to need it. Um, the charge station, everything else, that's good. Um, we do have a task list up here. Unfortunately, the task list hotkey is the same hotkey as my record key. So that's going to be a little bit of an issue. But we can see what um, task we have here. Uh, Newton is searching for clo clothing. Uh, good luck there. Pending task, all these things. And uh, yeah, as you as you progress throughout the game, you can give yourself a lot of tasks here. But another thing to look at is research. We haven't uh, we have humans here, so we are gonna need to um, get some survival meals, mini planters, get all these things working. Uh, you do need to manage your uh, active RAM is memory. We can download more RAM in this game, technically. And uh, permanent storage, because that knowledge doesn't just get absorbed into the brain. We are a computer. So we need to build that here. But um, there are some options that we have here. I think probably construction's already researched. I was about to be a dumb there. Um, we do need to actually research science. Let's do that first. That's something simple, basic. We're not going to be able to like do a bunch of stuff with it until later. But once we, uh, as we deconstruct these things, fortunately we do have a robot that is constructing the matter reactor. I have ran into some pathing issues in the past where robots get stuck and then uh, we didn't build things. But once again, this is, this is alpha, this is development. Uh, right now we're just looking at trying to make things work. So we're at the matter reactor. If you click twice on something, by the way, that's how you select the floor underneath. Um, connect to refuel. So... We don't have anything to connect to just yet, but we will need to get that eventually. Fortunately, uh, this construction only takes a uh, construction skill of two, which this happy robot has. Now we can use two options here to connect. We can use the E hotkey and just go bloop. Node is unreachable. Has to be as the same electricity grid as the ship's supercomputer. Yeah, I guess so. So that's all very exciting. We have a charge station. We have another thing getting built, but now we can figure out the fuel situation. Fortunately, we have a lot of glass and steel plates. We're going to have a lot more steel plates in just a minute. Um, common material used in spaceships. Uh, this is a new pop-up, so I do I do like that. Refill priority, we're going to make a 7. Uh, we do constantly want to be having fuel here. 
So the nice thing is that as we're deconstructing these floors, we're gonna have a lot of steel plates. My goal, honestly, are you idle? No, you're just uh, moving stuff around. But my goal is gonna be to deconstruct a lot of the ship and either attach the computer to some of this stuff, um, probably disassemble a lot of this stuff. But right now my two priorities are saving the humans and uh, not unthawing the popsicles, which if we pause it real quick, we are at 85% cryo stability. We are probably going to have dead people dumping out of here. Like Philip Beck's already dead. Krista star is already dead. Uh, Dylan Pittman's already dead. You guys should not have been Kickstarter or whatever supporters here because you're just dying. No, that's, that's mean. You should, you should be supporting independent games that you like, but you see, we also have some other goodies here, like a disc module that we can hook up a disc module we can hook up. So a lot of the stuff, a lot of good stuff on the spaceship has survived like a large planter. Apparently the vacuum of space has not taken six wooden chairs and a table. So we already have some really, really, really good set. We even have a freaking solar panel. This is, this is the best start I've had. Very convenient that I'm recording right now. So once again, we gotta, we gotta give our humies over here something, which means I'm gonna need to kind of make a controlled air area instead of just exposing them to the vacuum of space. Cause right now their temperature's not the best, but it's 16 degrees Celsius. That's okay. Their oxygen level, 20%, that's acceptable. Insulation's fine, but we're gonna have to build a wall and then like sort of airlock it in that way. So we'll, we'll get there when we get there. For now, we need electricity and I need to just zoom out. We need to just keep, we just need to keep playing. So the matter's here. I think we're finally starting research. That's good. We're gonna make a lot of connections here. And we don't have to do it this way. There is actually an uh, auto connect mode if we want to do that because we have a lot of things we can connect to but right now i'm going to stick to manual because we need to build a bridge so context sensitive menus fine by the way if in case you really want it there is robust planning tools if you've ever seen me play a game like this i do very simple planning <laughs> but it's good for those of you that are like really good builders and really want to make stuff make your make your plan shine but we're for now we're just building a two by two bridge like that's not that complicated. And all we're doing is just trying to connect here. And then we're just gonna connect between the connectors, which is great because there is a 16 connector over here. I'm not sure if we can actually build that yet, but that'll connect all the electricity over here. And that's where we're gonna have some power grid issues. So one of my other early tasks here and one of the mistakes I've made in like testing out this game myself and trying to get to know it is not building enough matter reactors. Okay, so building on top of debris and stuff, we'll clear the debris. That's kind of the plan. And then we are gonna just keep deconstructing this area a little bit. Um, now, don't forget, there is a lot of resources just floating out here in the void of space. I'm used to having a lot more resources because of a much bigger explody area, but instead our ship is mostly intact. Uh, if, you are, if you're playing this game sometime in the future, have closed access, you're, you're probably going to say, wow, Asher, this is like the, the most basic, simple start you could have thought of. But like, like, let's see here. Our energy grid right now, we have max possible of this many. But you can see that we're already like using quite a bit here. We do have um, a recharging unit in there. So that's important because you that's electricity is literally their food. Repair station is very important. Um, everybody's just kind of... Uh, building right now and I guess one thing I need to know for deconstructing I'm gonna assume that deconstructing actually is increasing the construction skill but it could be mining skill I'm gonna assume it's construction someone can tell me in the comments um, let's speed it up a little bit because we know what we want to do next what we want to do next is build some more connectors and uh, much like early part of the other game here we want to make sure that these connectors are built in a way where we constantly have like a grid so maybe we only need to do one by one because these things can float but we're doing two by two because i'm not ocd by any stretch of the imagination but it just doesn't feel right to have a bridge of destiny that's one tile wide that's how you summon a war mech 
as as anyone who's played uh, Final Fantasy knows. Okay, so refuel. Oh, that's right. Here's the thing. This is exactly what I was saying before. We gotta connect. This is why. This is why exactly why I want to do it that way. All right. So more steel plates. We have practically unlimited steel plates. In fact, you know what else we need to build? I totally forgot to build this. Already making mistakes. Cancel the video. Close it down. Storage unit. Now, we're going to be building more than one storage unit, and this thing's pretty chunky. And we can rotate these things. So I'm just going to have us looking at the butt of this storage unit. As far as I know, you cannot rotate the map. So we'll have to uh, work on that. Also, we have a bunch of damage flooring here that we'll need to figure out too. But yeah, just um, keep on building. Having a few jumps there, we have that was from that was an auto save jump. So as I said, we are playing on um, permadeath, which means all mistakes we make are permanent. It's just like real life. Um, and then we're gonna put our other connector out here so that we can do this. And then I think if we set this to repair. can probably make that work. Is this door functional? Because if that door is functional, then I guess technically we're okay. As long as we're not opening that door and losing oxygen and temperature all the time. But I think we're okay. As long as the vacuum of space doesn't like completely destroy these people. Because there's, once again, blood everywhere. We have airlocks and all that stuff. We have another meatter. Me God, I can't talk. Um, heaters and everything. Someone sleeping on the floor. Apparently, no one using the sleeping pod. It's um, it's fun. So research is going. See, fun. Fun is relative. Um, something's not configured here. Why are we? How are you not configured? I literally said steel plate. Let's make you glass. And let's copy your configuration. Oh no, I did it backwards! Okay. Fuels. Oh wait, I gotta actually hit the select button. Alright, see this is this is me making mistakes, but it's fine. We we only slightly ran out of electricity here, so if you've never seen anyone make a mistake on YouTube before, welcome to the channel. I, I very much subscribe to the fact that you'll only ever learn by making mistakes. And now we're gonna um, we're gonna do a big thing here. Energy node. We're gonna do um, manage connections. Auto connect to five things. And then we just at this point we just need to build a lot of connectors. So let's put another one over here just to make sure. We have enough room for all the things. And then where's our where's our popsicles? Over here. Okay. Okay, enable livable conditions around there. That's true. Now one of the nice things about the stasis array is that it does generate heat. So this is this is gonna be a little bit funny and awkward. I assume we can put this on a glass floor without problem. Research science! Science complete. Unlock new blueprints. So, obviously, what we need to do now is to build some biotech. But you can see, once again, that ups our uh, memory, storage, other uses. We're going to be making use of uh, what's available to us for now. But I do agree. Building, building walls around this would be nice. We have a pet bowl, which is exciting, I guess. Um, it looks like Lilla Glen maybe got spat out. I don't know. We started with 600 and something people. I don't know how many are left in here. feel like that's some information that I probably could find out, but let's just build, let's just build some walls here. Right now, I think my number one priority is just to box this in. All right. And then that's okay. 
And then we can just build a door as well. Doors, right? Just a regular old door. Regular old door. All right, cool. And we also need to go ahead and repair some things like you guys. And computer stuff's fun. All right, what are you? You're just a chair. Okay, so fortunately, right now, we are not exposed to the hostilities of space, so hopefully we're not going to have an issue with that. All right, so you're here. You're here. I kind of like doubling this stuff up in, like, a cycle or a circuit eventually. Yeah, we can't connect because there's, um, it's damaged, so we got to undamage a lot of the stuff. Like, there's a battery down here. It actually has no charge. I have started games where there are batteries with charge. I just want to pause real quick and see what we got. It doesn't look like... Okay, it looks like none of these batteries have charge right now. Fascinating. Okay. It's cool. So I think the other big thing is that we just got to get food in here for you guys. So let's go ahead and build... What else can we build in here? We can build a door and put you up there and then we can build some walls. I guess if there's one issue that I have with how with how this wheel is structured is that you got to go all the way through the wheel again to make this work. So we want to make this room a little bit smaller. And you know what? Since we have the whole dining room set up right here, we can just go ahead and move that in. And uh, looks like we do have a we have King, who's dead. We can process it eventually. Yeah, there's like dead drones, dead people. It was a, it was a bad time. But now, let's see. Are we, are we done with our connectors? I think we are. All right. That is just the warning that says, if you connect while time is paused, then your connection will not exactly be stable. Okay, it's not, that's not exactly the words for it, but... Your connection will do the thing. That's also not what I'm working for. Why is my why is my brain not doing a good job? It's almost like maybe the computer should have woken somebody else up because I can't use my mouth words right now. Still, we have a disassembler. That's probably a really good idea to connect that because um, we need to repair it, obviously. Um, but yeah, like once we get some of these things, we can start disassembling the people. And uh, I mean, the robots, the people... Reactor efficiency upgrade, that's exciting, but more importantly, course cryostability stability is this many. We're okay, I have a feeling we're going to need to uh, cut up some more flooring here. So let's go ahead, and I think since we're going to be doing a lot of stuff around here, let's go ahead and build another storage unit. Because storage units don't actually take electricity. And this is going to be kind of our second storage. Now, if we look over here, um, it just has glass and steel plates at this point. That's okay, because we're going to need those for the electricity. Right now, let's look at our grid here again. See, I just have to keep building matter reactors to keep up with stuff. Like, I'm going to need to build a few more, actually, right now. So, happy, happy music in the background. Let's put y'all backside like this. So, six again. We're still going to be mostly running on steel plates, but that's a finite resource. Eventually, eventually we are going to need to, like, build a shuttle and find some other stuff. So, that's okay. Let's, let's get rid of some of this stuff. And there we go. So, we've reached the stasis array. We've connected that. We need to enclose the stasis array, which we are incredibly close to. Let's go ahead and just auto-connect. Hooray, door shut. And, um... For some reason, this needs repairs still. And this needs repairs still. Alright. And then this, this door actually... I don't know what's what the holdup is unless we need to just increase the priority, which is fine. 
Because we don't want people spitting out here and then, like, failing. Because right now, this is this is making heat. It doesn't make any oxygen, though. So can we, on our research, asking for a friend. Biotech. What do we actually need to build an oxygen generator at this point? Okay, interesting. Thank you for that contribution, angry dog who um, did not bark at all before when random people knocked on the front door earlier today. That's fun. Um, so we have an oxygen pump over here. Let's relocate that to here. That'll be fine. And you just need to be connected to the energy grid. So point and drag. Enjoy tiny dog borks in the background. Uh, not what I wanted to do. There we go. Cancel. Because we have way more connections over here. So now when people dump out of here, they should actually alive, be alive, able to survive. We actually have a steel bed that needs to be repaired. So this is what I need to do. We already have a bunch of stuff built in this game. Incoming storage capsule. Um, that's fun. I don't know where it's going to land. We'll have to just figure that out. Uh, Caliban got construction up to level two. Congratulations. So we've enclosed. Like I said, the game likes to give some like details of everything. So that's good. Right now, everything's just kind of moving right along. How's our power grid doing? Right now, we're nearly capping it, so that's a, that's a little bit of an issue. But since we have a few people surviving right now, I think the next best goal is to try to get those people to uh, move around here. Can we just group together and move these? Relocate all at once. I love it. Group relocating. The future is now. Welcome to Stardust. Oh, like I said, there's some... Um, Maybe, maybe I'm missing out on other games, but, um, yeah, that's, that's a really nice thing that that's right there. Um, okay, so we're moving our tables and chairs so everyone has a place to sit. They don't have to eat their meals on the floor and then start punching each other. We need some beds. We need to repair, ooh, ooh. something just shook and I don't know what, I don't know where. Research is complete, so that's fun. Um, auto kitchen and large planter, that's good. Okay, so... I don't know if we really have, like, recommendations for things. So we do have wall sockets. That's Those are more conveniences at this point. Um, advanced construction for reinforced window, window, reinforced wall. I think we're okay for now, because you gotta pay attention to some of the stuff that's available here. So vegetarian food... Recycling. We are going to need recycling, but we cannot do that yet. Hygiene. Bathroom and shower. Coffee. Also important to survival. But I think making a toilet in the shower, probably our next best bet. If we were doing a non-human run, then we could just say the robots don't care. But battery. Did we repair this one already? I think we did. So let's go ahead and just uh, relocate this one. So like right here that'll be fine um let's see here so just my brain is just kind of like there's a bunch of things we can do all at once here's a heater okay we already have one heater here um let's go ahead and repair this heater z z key for that um this is this can all be connected as well So I guess technically that battery is just as good anywhere as anywhere else. Um, so we had two beds around. Let's see here. T tab. So we have pet bed. Oxygen. Gen. Okay. I'm curious. This is an oxygen pump. Huh. Weird. All right. Well, we have it. That's the key thing. Here we have a battery that's storing charge very slowly. We have a disk module, so right now a lot of these things getting hooked up or being hooked up is going to be a pretty big deal. 
Okay, um, nope. Okay, what's our cancel task? Okay, I need to reassess some of these hotkeys. Because, like, it's not necessarily what I do, but there we go. We have the disassembler. We are processing a construction robot. We need to just disassemble J5. All these things here. So, cause of death, suffocation, comfortable temperature, not that. Um... Okay. Processor nutrient extractor. Well. Okay, I guess... Can we just put the bodies in a room? Oh, it's very rim world. All right, let's um. Let's just let's just select all these people, and let's just relocate them like over here. Will that work? We're gonna find out. Just put the bodies over here. When somebody else eventually wakes up, they'll be like, "This is totally fine. Nothing nothing could possibly be wrong." Um, researching hygiene is going on now. We actually have a large planter that needs to be repaired too, so that's good. Small planter needs to be repaired. Whatever you are needs to be repaired. Got a whole bunch of broken shit over here. That is a loom! That is definitely something I can give the colonists to do. Right now I'm looking for beds though. I only found a pet bed. And a cryo sleeper. There is just water, temperature resistant. So we have lots of mini planters. It's like it's like searching for survival meals at the beginning of the, um, uh, on the map for the beginning of um, I almost said Star Sector Rim World. It's all it's all very familiar. So we're just gonna tuck the bodies over there, like nothing ever happened. And um, we have people talking. What can we do in the mini planter? So undamaged node is unreachable. Huh. So... Alright, how's our, how's our electricity looking here? Alright, that seems, that seems okay. So manage connections. Let's uh, auto-connect to two more things here. So we need to configure... Uh, let's do... Okay, we are currently capable of producing 60 kilowatts. So we have exceeded um, this. So we need matter reactor, solar panels, whatever we have blueprints for. If we have solar panels, cleaning them could help. So here's our electricity. We did have a spike. So as I said, we need to configure some of those other matter reactors. But first things first, I did just see the um, configure button here. Let's build wheat instead of a coffee tree. Although coffee trees are fun. Um, all right, so here's our matter reactor that's getting fueled by steel plates. And then we haven't configured any of you all here. Um, that's because I forgot to build another connector. Damn. I mean, I could just be dragging connectors around everywhere at this point. Um, but you see, we have another thing here for food production now, so we'll just put you up here. And then once we put this node here, because this node, where it's, what, seven connections of eight, we connect one up there and then we keep going. So that's fine. Hopefully this gets built really fast. We are going to have to watch our copper, though. Okay. Priority. Okay. Don't even have to worry about the priority. It's just getting prioritized right now. So we can slow it down just a little bit here and connect, 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 connect. And then I guess we'll do some glass here. And uh, we don't have a lot of some of these other resources. Like we have a ton of steel plates for now. But you're going to see once again that we need our electricity basis has gone up quite a bit. So we're researching hygiene, that's fun. Increase electricity production. Took stasis damage, I don't know what that means. Uh-oh. Hey, Clankers. You're alive. Jennifer Clankers Kismet. You're not moving, so you just, you just came around. All right, well, first off, we're gonna move 
We're going to move the steel bed in here, to be honest. Now, nah, let's move it. Let's move it to our uh, let's move it to our people that we care about a little more. Um, did I say that out loud? All right, so that's going to go up here. We actually need to, like, repair all this stuff. I'm not exactly sure when we get to cleaning the blood unless we need to build, like, a cleaning robot. But we do have a, uh, we have a sleeper pod and now a bed. So we're, we're living here. Food production, we have mini planter, large planter, auto kitchen. Auto kitchen seems pretty important. And doesn't seem like we have something around here, so. Solar panel, we can connect you. You are apparently damaged. Ah. I thought you weren't damaged, but you are damaged. Alright. Don't even know if we can get to that without punching a hole in the middle. Let's try this again. So. You can connect. What are you even? You're a thruster. Well, we don't need to we don't need to do that today. Alright, so we have yet another solar panel. It's producing some stuff. So that's a positive. Alright. Let's go ahead and relocate this large planter over here. So we're going to kind of bifurcate this a little bit. Have two stuff going on. We just want to give Clanker something to do. Um, right now, she's just kind of bored and going crazy, and I get that. But we need, we need to build a few things here, like a uh, facility. Not that. We'll put an auto kitchen up here, too. And then, I don't know, can we build Can we build a bed? Looks like we can. So, wooden bed or steel bed? Takes two wood or two steel plates. Well, that's exciting. So let's put you up here. I said, don't mind, don't mind the dead bodies. We are just in space surviving. Earth's, Earth's already gone. And uh, everything is okay. So Pet Bowl is not configured. And do protein or survival meal. I think we're going to leave that unconfigured because as far as I can tell, we don't have any pets. There may be a pet in the cryo stasis unit at this point, but it's fine. Uh, we had someone else wake up from stasis, or is that the same person? It's the same person. We can clear that notification. Um, construction for Caliban up to level 2. Good job. I believe in you, Robro. Okay, we have more tiny planters over here. There's another table. We repair the table. And then we should have some other chairs. We need to repair the shuttle. We need to move the small planters. So repair the chair. Repair you. It's fine. And um, how are we doing on electricity now? We're doing okay. So now, okay, Clankers is officially sleeping in bed. Going to sleep for 23 minutes. Alright, so we have available task. Failed to streak. Okay, failed streak. That's not failing to streak. It's not like these people are popping out naked. Um, or maybe they are. I don't I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we should probably see what kind of skill she has. Repair, cleaning, science, construction. Well, we're going to see what you can do here with this. Okay, large planter. Um, I guess we'll just do more wheat and then we'll move the other planters over here and make like some coffee. Um, let's go ahead while we're here and just punch a hole because this needs to still be repaired. All right. So disassembler, are you just taking electricity while running idle? Cause I would probably... I should probably disconnect you if that's the case, but figure that out later. Once again, don't look at the bodies down here. Nothing bad possibly happened. We do have a sleeping pod. Should have probably relocated that a while ago. 
But now we have multiple beds for multiple cats. And um, we have places to sleep. We have somebody who's eating. How many survival meals do we have left? Also, is this just not getting built? Or is it getting built right now? It's getting built right now. That's excellent. So, yeah, I think we're getting close to the time here where I at least just want to wrap this up for the moment. So we're going to let that finish up here. This storage place is actually not getting used. I think we can up the priority of the storage by clicking on it. Um, no, it's getting used a little bit. It's just that we have plenty of storage available. Oh, that's the... Oh, okay. Well, first off, let's relocate you to, like, right here. Because we definitely want the table of all the places, of all the places you could be relocated. And let's up this priority to... Priority number one, because we don't want people eating on the floor. That would be a disaster. We have a microchip. We have... Uh, we have, I guess, nine survival meals left, so we really need to figure this out fast. Like, we have wheat that's trying to grow here. Um, yeah. Let's, let's, speed, let's speed up this process a little bit. Okay, so what are, what are you? You're eating, you're eating the storage pad, the storage capsule. Let's open the capsule, and inside we have... Things! Okay, basic kitchen. And what's going on in our kitchen? Today we are configuring... How do we cook survival meals? You need a protein. Tastes like a used sponge, but hey, it's nutrients. You're damn right it's nutrients. So we need to get protein. So, nutrient extracted from living meat based on organisms, essential part of gourmet meals. Cat, crawler, dog, human. Okay, I have some bad news. We're probably going to have to um, find some nutrients somewhere. But that's why we also have the research ability to research vegetarian food, such as bread and soy burgers. Coffee, coffee machine, cloning pod. Grow your own colonies using this highly advanced laboratory equipment. You can see that takes a while, but vegetarian food is something we will definitely be getting next. I think having a bathroom is a little bit more of a higher priority, although technically you can poop into the vacuum of space and nobody will bat an eye. Okay, so we have all these things here. Oxygen pumps are very important. Quantum mechanics. We actually have a particle collector available to us, which I have never had. Um, teleportation is actually pretty good. Refrigeration, heating, and a heat sink, very good. Clothing, pretty important. Manufacturing, also important. Resource processing, so we need to do this next. That'll give us this, and I don't think we have a nutrient extractor. Let's check one more time. Nutrient, yeah. All right. Wonder, wonder what's going on here. Small wood table. I guess this is showing the stuff that's already up here. Interesting. All right. Well, unsafe conditions. Too cold. Well, can I see what's inside? Is this like gotcha game? Let's cancel opening the capsule for now. But I'd love to know what's in it. Like, shouldn't there be, like, a manifest or something? It's all right. So the temperature's cold in here. We need to apparently raise the temperature here. 21 degrees Celsius should be okay, but it gets a little colder on the other side of the room. Like, we're technically having you sleep in a terrible place, so maybe, maybe we do need to um, move this heater. So we put a second heater in here, and suddenly we're not cooking below freezing. That should be fine. Why is this door not connected to an electricity grid? That's that's an oversight. All right, so hopefully, 
Now that we're not like in the vacuum of space, we're not going to be at 23 to negative 23 degrees Celsius. There we go. That's getting a little better now. I don't know who would have possibly messed that up. All right. Let's see if we can try to open the gotcha again. And then auto kitchen. I said we just need to give it protein. We definitely have protein. So we're going to make this next area here a um, toiletry area, which means we probably need to build a vent. Like... Well, apparently we're just going to... Um, Uh, so one thing I wonder is, this door is usable, right? It's just looking left to right because it's fun. I guess we'll know in just a second. There we go. So it's fine. So we still have our, we still have our Happy Meals here. We still have our wheat growing very, very slowly. We still have a damn table that needs to be moved. Let's up the priority on that. Maybe. Well, it'll get it'll get moved at some point. We have a we have a lot of tasks going on here, so second space heater in space. And we research shower and toilet. So let's take a let's take a look at building these real quick. So devices facilities basic toiletry we put the toilet next to the oxygen generator or yeah we don't want to we don't want to do all that so put the toilet down here then we'll put the shower like up here and then suddenly everybody's so fresh and so clean and we need to research what did i say we're researching next resource processing we have enough memory to do that barely. We have enough um, storage to keep it once it's done. So that's that's going to be good. What's the grinder for? Okay. Furnace typically used for smelting metals, used for larger materials and the finer ones, and then um, harvested plants also from Bob and Bill, who both died a tragic death two hours ago. Uh, just make sure nobody's looking. Some colonists won't be happy to find out how the sausage is made. Um, oh, from dead or alive humans. Well, fun. All right. So once again, this is this is Star Deus, and um, yeah, I'm having a good time. Like I said, one of the things I wanted to do was just take kind of a deeper dive here. You can see that our electricity. Uh oh, we have a crawler. Um, what is a crawler? It's comfortable. It's a. I'm gonna assume a crawler is a pet, right? It has no tasks, so clearly we need to give the crawler a little pet bed, right? That'll be fine. So, who who doesn't who doesn't hate a pet spider? All right. Like I said, I'm glad that um, we didn't get to read what was in the manifest here, and uh, its traits. It's always hungry. This pet will raid the fridge often. Well, I don't have a fridge to raid, so hopefully Newton's like, hey, this is fine. Check if doors are powered or not locked. Okay, so hopefully we can get somebody else to relocate this because right now the humans can't do it. We just need someone else to do it. Right now we have a lot of robots trying to get a lot of things done. And right now they're building, so it's fine. We're eating. We're producing food, allegedly. We're still cooking survival meals. Target inventory. Unlimited. That's fine. All right, well, that's going to do it for this one. This is Asher. Like I said, we're going to be resuming in a little while with even more Stardeus. I'm excited to see where this game goes. Like I said, we're still very much in kind of the opening, beginning stanza of production. We have a lot of deconstruction we need to do. A creature attached itself to a colonist. 
That's probably not good. Trying to detach the creature who's roaming. Well, um... I guess what we're going to have to do is, um... That creature's not our friend. And I guess Newton is uh, going to have some problems here. Trying to detach. Trying to detach. You spent 45 minutes doing that. Maybe... I think the creature's going to win, Newton. So, whoever sent that storage capsule is a jerk. But that's I guess that's the name of the game. So, technically, that's uh, more, more things to jump in the recycling vats. And we'll have to figure out how to, like, close off that stuff. I'm glad that we're right next to the bio waste, too. So, that's fun. In fact, you know what we're going to do? We have, we have this door, which is fine, but can we, um, can we disconnect? There we go. So, Newton, you're outside right now, and you're still trying to detach the creature. I don't think I can help you. That kind of sucks. But hey, that's Stardius. We're just going to zoom out here. Nah, 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 nothing to see here. Uh, but that'll do it for this one. This is Asher. Like I said, we're going to be doing a really good long look at this game to see kind of where it's at even in the alpha stage. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. That's very helpful for the visibility of the game. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Like I said, this is a game that is uh, did have a demo up for the Steam Next Fest. Um, it, this is an alpha build that is a closed alpha right now. But be on the lookout for it in the future because this game shows a lot of promise even if I'm apparently really bad about letting space aliens um, attach themselves to my crew. So I guess technically that's one less mouth to feed. Why is this door open? I guess we'll figure that out later. That'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Very sorry, Newton. See you next time.